I'm Madeline Cunningham at the University of Oklahoma Health Sciences Center, and I've studied autoimmunity and infection for about 30 years. And in other words, you might give that a term of molecular mimicry, uh, which uh, really is simply defined as the study of how infections create autoantibodies and autoimmune disease in people. Uh, and we've been very successful in studying the group A streptococcus over the last 30 years. The first um, studies were about the rheumatic heart disease, and we actually identified the uh, targets of the antibodies as the group A streptococcal carbohydrate and uh, proteins in the heart, including cardiac myosin, which is um, important both in rheumatic heart disease and myocarditis. And then about uh, 15 years ago, I was called by Dr. Susan Sweeto at the NIMH, and she asked, would I study uh, the brain disease in, uh, in rheumatic fever, which is called Sydenham Korea? And uh, we had just seen a patient in the hospital about that time and made human monoclonal antibodies. And that's, of course, how you study molecular mimicry. And that paper was published in Nature Medicine in 2003. And that identified some of the very first antigens uh, that cross-react between the streptococcus and the brain. And then uh, she wanted us to study pandas, which was a new disease that she had discovered pediatric autoimmune neuropsychiatric disorder associated with strep. And we identified antibodies that uh, were similar to those in Sydenham, Korea in the PANDAS children.